I have a problem. I can't continue on this until I get my turbo oil drain feed little do flaky. So I ordered this part. It says it's going to be delivered on the 8th of December, and now it's been updated to the 12th of December. Now it's four days late. But without this part, I can't do anything. Well, let's take a quick look at what's going on with this long tracking history. So it starts off here in Kentucky. Okay, cool. And it goes up to Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay, all right. It goes to Chicopee, Mass. Great. It goes to Boston, where it belongs. It goes to Avon. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Then it ends up in eastern Maine. What? What's going on here? And then it ends up in southern Maine. Okay, now it's coming back here. It goes back to Boston. Okay, great. And it ends up at Avon again. Uh, and then now it's at Delaware. Hmm. What happened there? Okay, well, it leaves Delaware, ends up in Philadelphia. And then, look at this, it arrived, and then it departs Philadelphia, and then it arrives at Philadelphia again, and then it departs Philadelphia, and then it arrives at Philadelphia a few more hours later, and now it's left Philadelphia, probably for a similar loop like it's been go going right about now. I guess I could start working on this engine harness here, removing everything I don't need and keeping what I do need. But where's the fun in that? Let's talk about something else. This here is my 2015 BMW R1200 GS Adventure. You guys have likely seen this peeking out in the background of some of my videos. So here it is. This has definitely taken me all over the country here from there in this direction all the way to uh, Prince Edward Island as its last new place. I tried to collect some stickers all over the place because these were pretty bare when I first got the bike in 2015. Uh, Hard to, hard to believe that was uh, seven years ago, actually. But it was all the little random places I've been to. I haven't gotten to go anywhere. It all started in 2020 when the whole coronavirus thing started and we couldn't go anywhere. That was the first year where the bike never even left the state. And we were bored. We had to go find some things to do. So a few buddies and I, we learned how to change a motorcycle tire and balance them. We slapped on this Michelin Anarchy Wild on here. This is a pretty good knobby tire. It's like an 80-20 tire. Same on the front, same on the rear. The rear is a little bit bigger and chunkier. This is a big bike. Ooh, I'm starting to chunk out over here, actually. So this is starting to wear out, but has a little bit of life left. Sorry, the battery cut out there. Uh, so in 2020, we were bored. There was nowhere to go, and we decided to take our off-road bikes into trails. Not these particular trails, but other trails. We didn't know any better. We didn't have any off-road experience. Uh, I mean, we've gone down a dirt path once in a while, but now we're going into like mud bogs and rocks, all kinds of fun stuff. We learned the hard way. <laughs> That's what we called it. We were learning the hard way. So we took these whales into some trails. Here are some clips. Welcome to the channel. We're just a bunch of friends that are out here enjoying our rides. Look at these shiny R1200 GSs. You see them all the time parked at Starbucks. Oh, sorry, we're from Boston. We like to pack at Dunks and get our coffee coladas and munchkins, then go to Harvard Yard to enjoy our afternoon. Okay, sorry, I'll stop. Please don't leave. Join us on our adventures. We're just us being us. We're going off-road, and we don't know what we're doing, but we're recording oh, it for your entertainment. Sorry. <laughs> We'll go places, we'll crack jokes. Subscribe and come back for more laughs when a new video is posted. Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Went down the wrong pipe, not COVID-19. No, I thought you inhaled his shit. <laughs> <laughs> After the first or second time, we decided that we need to up armor our bikes a little bit to protect some of the things. I started with the Barkbuster hand guards here. This is a full aluminum bar that goes all the way across. The stock one was just a piece of plastic that was mounted all the way across similarly to that. The Adventure model comes with this upper bar that you already see right here. Uh, the, the regular GS has a smaller gas tank and it looks a lot more narrow, but, but look at this. It's so wide and it looks so cool. Anyways, down here, this is a Boxer Twin. So I needed some armor plating here, just in case the bike tipped over onto like a pointy rock or something. I won't put a hole in my head. Um, not this one, this head. Added some extra armor plating on the exhaust pipe here. I don't know how much uh, protection that actually offers, but it's better than nothing. I added a little rock guard here so I don't hit the, 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 the timing. I don't know, I don't know what's behind here. Coming down here, I also added this thick aluminum skid plate that protects everything from the front to the back. 
And up here, this is an LED headlight. It's very expensive. I gotta make sure I protect it. So I was able to get one of these. It helps protect it from like sticks, rocks, whatever. At least breaking this piece of Lexan is much cheaper than breaking one of the headlights. And as you can see here, I cracked this because I crashed into a tree one time. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh no, no. This bike has collected just a bit over 28,000 miles on it. Uh, it. Has gone through a lot with me. I remember that one time I hit a baby deer or a young deer and we survived. Didn't go down, I was fully loaded with all kinds of luggage. My wife was with me and we went boom, right into that deer. It knocked my light out and then it the deer fur all in my exhaust and like in the wheel, like in the rim too. Um, you know, it was pretty good. The bike, the bike took that very well. Nothing was broken. Uh, we were able to just pull over. I hit it probably at about like 25 miles per hour, no faster than that. We were slowing down right when I hit it. Uh, the big one jumped across in front of me and then we hit the smaller one. My particular setup has a 45 liter pannier on the left side and a 38 liter, I believe, on the right. And this is a 52 liter up top. This fits two full face helmets. It's great, this thing's humongous. Added together, it's 135 liters of storage space. That's about 35.66 gallons of space. Uh, that's a lot of space. This is, a, this is a very comfortable, very big bike. A very capable bike, actually. I don't see any other motorcycle replacing this other than a future variant of this guy. I understand BMW has already come out with an R1250 GS. There's a, a R1300 GS also spied. Uh, this bike is seven years old, so it's going to be many generations behind. Uh, this was the one right before they went to a digital like TFT screen here. That looks pretty damn cool. I kind of want that, but I'm not sure it's worth the uh, actual trade-in and upgrade. Uh, this bike is perfectly fine for me. I've never had any issues with it, I mean, even all the crap we put it through. So, you know, I'll, I'll hang on to this. This is probably my forever bike until, of course, it's not. <laughs> How can you not love this bike with how much suspension travel this thing has? It's so cushy. It's been a while, so I'm a little rusty on, on controlling this giant whale. Let's try not to die here on video. As with any vehicle, anything is customizable. I've put on these ginormous lights here. These put out 7,500 lumens each. And those are at about 10% brightness, I think. There's a little light here that I put on the emblem. They also become turn signals and running lights. So that adds a nice little bit of visibility. Let's see what I've done. I've also done sergeant seats right here. Let me turn this off. I've also done sergeant seats right here to upgrade these for longer trips. I've done like a 700 mile day one time. I think it was like 680, but all that in one day, you know, that makes for a rough ride. But with that seat, it was actually tolerable. Back here, I got the Toratec panniers. I got the GV top case here. And right here, I got the helmet lock. This is like an aftermarket flashing brake light I also have. It's pretty bright, it's nice. Let's see what else I've done. I've done LEDs in here. Uh, this is a tube, like exhaust, like tip extender. The tips actually stop right there. And what I've noticed and the community has noticed is that makes it hot here and it starts to cook this case. So whatever's in here gets really hot. Somebody came up with this idea where you just slip this on with some springs. It, it actually like keeps it in, in place. This helps alleviate this from getting too hot and it's actually pretty nice. I haven't upgraded the suspension yet. This is an electronic uh, self-adjusting preload and, and dampening, but it hasn't failed me. I think I plan on upgrading that if it actually starts to leak and it becomes a problem. Same in the front. There's one of those fancy shocks up there too. Uh, don't have anything else. Oh, I added a little mard guard here and the front wheel, but I don't think I've done much else. The stock windshield is a little bit smaller. These are manually adjustable and it goes up and down as you can see. Just turn the knob. So I got a much bigger one, but that's it. That's really it. And I mounted this on top. So I had first aid stuff. I can also mount a gas tank up here, but that's really high for a gallon, but it's really not that bad. 
uh, this tank does hold, was it eight? I think it's eight gallons in there, so that's plenty of fuel to go wherever you need to go. Oh, I see it now. I also have this uh, GS Motion, GSE Motion toolbox. Funny thing about this toolbox is, this holds all my tools and all the stuff I might need. <laughs> Guess what? It's locked by a key, and I always lose the key, and I never have the key. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll put it. I'll put it away, and just decide. Oh, I'll, I'll use this. I got to keep this in a safe place, and then it's gone. So when I go on like the little trips or when we go off roading and stuff, and we need tools, I have to borrow my friends because I don't have mine because they're locked in that box. I have a keyless bike. The key battery is dead. And in order to start this, I have to like put this underneath my seat somewhere while I'm blind because I also have to reach up here and press the button at the same time to turn it on. Oh, I got it. Cool. Oh, yeah, I got to replace this battery. Let's see if it worked. Yeah. So it's 44 degrees outside right now. It's a little bit nippy, but it's not that bad. I haven't ridden in the cold in a long time. I forgot what this is like. Uh, it reminds me of the time when I used to commute to work on my motorcycle, like year round, rain, snow, whatever. I did it. So when those times with the wind chill being like negative five here, oh man. I was doing like those fancy cryogenic uh, body skin treatments before it was cool. I literally just froze and it's <laughs> just so I could get to work in Boston. But I don't have to do that anymore. I also saw what the salt did to my bike back then. I had a Suzuki V-Strom. It was a 2005 V-Strom 1000. The salt completely like corroded everything on the lower half of the bike. It was absolutely terrible. So. I don't have to do that anymore. Ever since I got this baby here, you know, it's never seen salt. And, and I just put it away for the winter. I've actually kind of neglected it the last two years because I have this new kid. I don't mean this kind of kid. It was this kid. I'm just kidding. This kid took up a lot of time. And then this second kid took up a lot of time too. Technically, this is the first kid because this showed up first. That's it. Fun time is over. Got to go pick up the child from daycare. Uh, leave a comment below if you want to see more about my motorcycle and our shenanigans from two years ago. <laughs> they, they were pretty fun. It was very hard, but it was very fun. So like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Yes, I'm picking them up in my little car. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, 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 bark